Still no, forklifts running around. We don't we don't close until ten o'clock, so I can't actually get everybody out. Okay. <laughs> but that's it's all right. Probably... They know the they, the forks are down the far end, so we should be should be fine. Hello. We're handing it over to you, Dane. Thanks very much. Oh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I know you've had a, a long day. Um, I'm Dane from ITI, National Product Manager. I look after a fair few of our products, not all of them. We've got Michael as well, that is our, uh, my cameraman, sound man, and everything else today. Um, one of our products that also sponsors the BDAA is WeatherTech. So we distribute for WeatherTech. As you can see, we hold a lot of stock uh, of the sheet products. And also when I get to the other side of uh, yard one, sorry, shed one, we hold uh, like the weather boards, 300, the 150s. So I'll bring you through into shed one. Shed one is where we do all of our piece orders. Um, we don't just distribute full packs. No, it was going so well. Michael, Dane, maybe just need to shuffle around a little bit. We've seemed to have lost connection with you. You're back now? Yes, you're back. We just need to put that, that on. There we go. From That's okay, no problems. Okay, so, so Shed One's where we do all our piece orders. Um, I'll bring you down the rack. So in Shed One. Um, so we actually open at 5 a.m. in the morning and don't close until 10. That is why we still have forklifts currently running, picking orders. Uh, we need to have about 200 packs picked before the end of the night. That's for tomorrow's delivery. So we're one of many timber wholesalers that actually do 24-hour turnaround, which obviously helps uh, builders. You can help yourself as well if, if you're designing on the run with a project and you, you think that you, know, you want to change a post or a beam that you've specified, we can get them delivered pretty quick. So down here, we keep our design pine, which is our H3 external uh, timber for above ground use only. We also have our Easy Trim, which is all our internal linings, which are, they're both pre-primed products, but uh, internal linings, door jams, architraves, skirtings, and the likes. We also are the national distributor for Modwood. So at the beginning of the rack, we've got Modwood's NGC, which is the natural grain collection. When we get down closer to the back of the shed, I'll show you the XGG, which is actually quite new to Modwood. It's a, a capped composite. The benefit of having a capped composite is that you've got a cap around the, the core of the board, so it protects the core. You get a 25 year fade and stain warranty. And Modwood also have a P5 slip rating, which I know a lot of you designers would know is the highest slip rating you can get. So it's perfect for use in schools, commercial applications, um, Michael, if I get you to stop and just come back a bit. So here we've got our design pine, 185 by 185 post. All of our design pine, when they get to the bigger profiles, they're all glue lamp, which uh, I did just see that you had a presentation from pine timber. The benefit of using glue lamp, if you had a solid piece of timber this big, this profile, it would. there's a good chance it's gonna twist, warp, a lot more chance of checking in there. So, by going with a glue lamp beam, it stays a lot straighter. All of our uh, design pine when it gets up to that size, obviously they're all glue lamp beams. On the other side, we have quite a new product that should get a lot of traction uh, is our plain fix, our 29 timber. So currently we only have uh, decking, screening and framing or structural timber. 
We also have our other composite in here, which is Everlast, another capped composite. Pretty excited uh, about the uh, new range, which is called the I-Series. It gets its name, obviously, from the design of the board, which is like an IV. The benefit of this is the rigidity. Uh, like an eye joist, gives you a lot more strength in the board. So that spans 450 quite easy and it actually can span above. We restricted it to 450, just that is an Australian standard for, um, for decking joist faces. I'll come down to another product that we do do is Prolab, which is a finger jointed uh, laminated Merbau. I'm holding right here, sorry about these are all jobs that are ready to go out. So what I'm holding here is actually a 190, 190 solid face. So what a solid face is, we've put a veneer around the outside. This, the whole core is still finger jointed laminated Merbau. We've put a veneer around the outside, which then makes the aesthetic of it actually being a solid post. A uh, few piece orders we've got and very new to us and Michael will go through with you tomorrow is our easy trim, uh, sorry. Easy craft. <laughs> easy craft lining, which since bringing it on is uh, is going really good. We've got a lot of projects. It's perfect for indoor um, indoor applications. There's also wet area applications and an exterior board. Semi exterior. <laughs> the good news is that Michael's actually going to be doing a presentation on the Easy Craft uh, on Thursday. Go with the weather tech. Okay. okay. <laughs> but all the small parts will go with the weather tech. Um, as I said, we, we hold a lot of stock. We get a, a delivery every single day from weather tech of obviously uh, to restock. Weather tech itself doesn't do job lots. Something that I actually get asked a fair bit from people in the BDAA is about our AZ papers, which currently that is the stock that we do have left. If anyone is interested in actually purchasing some, contact me. I can get Sarah or Chris will put my email up. Contact me and we can actually work something out. We don't normally sell direct, but with these, as we're trying to clear the line, we will uh, sell these direct to any customer. So with the Design Pine, Design Pine is uh, New Zealand Radiata Pine, but ITI also has its own mill in Chile, which we actually own, is ITI's mill. So we've got four, uh, sorry, three suppliers in, in New Zealand and then one supplier in Chile being ITI Chile. Uh, Design Pine and Easy Trim. If you are looking at any projects and we don't do a profile that you're looking for, as long as the volume is there, we can actually get it milled and then brought over. It just depends on, sorry about that. It depends on the um, quantity needed for the project. Obviously, it's a, if it's a very small project, it's a bit hard, but when we're talking packs, so claddings, special profiles, we can get these milled in either our chili factory or in New Zealand brought over. There's obviously lead time, but there's no special order fee or anything like that because it is literally just being milled. They've normally already got the um, the cutters to mill it. So if anyone, obviously the same thing, if you have any projects that you're looking for a custom profile, uh, feel free to send me an email and we can work through the design together and then I can get pricing obviously through one of our resales. So shed one is basically pieces. We move on to shed two, which is uh, basically stock. Right now, because of COVID and New Zealand still struggling to keep up, it is actually quite low. Normally this year would be out to the yellow line and or it would be twice as high as what it is. You wouldn't be able to look through. So as you can see, stock is a very big issue. Most people through COVID actually got more busier in the building industry. We couldn't keep up with stock uh, and it's, it's still actually hurting us. Shipping is quite hard out of uh, China and now New Zealand is, is getting hard as well. We also do hardwood and down, I'll get 
a bit closer to, down to the end here. We've got cedar flooring. Oh, sorry. Cypress flooring, cypress cladding. We then do do uh, at a, another one of our factory, John Cook and Sons. We do uh, cedar profiles. Sorry. Uh, and we bring those cedar, the cedar in. We dry it ourselves in our yard that is just next door. Then distribute it to furniture, wholesalers, stair builders, the like. So Cooks is a bit of a different uh, model of wholesaler compared to us. We, through this factory, uh, we have around eight containers a day get delivered and unpacked, which happens just in between shed one, sorry, shed two and shed three. Shed three holds all of our Merbau and our hardwood. So full packs of posts, Jarrah hardwood, decking. Um, we do a lot of specialised hardwoods if uh, you are looking for something specialised. Modwoods XTG, which is the cap composite. Everybody knows Modwood. Actually, Modwood in Australia is basically people come up and goes that Mod, Modwood, even though they might be talking about a different composite. It's just known as the composite of Australia. I'll walk a bit quicker so I don't. Right here, uh, we have, so ITI has also just taken on EWP in New South Wales. We've done EWP in other states, South Australia and Melbourne for quite some time, but we've now just taken it on. We've got the facilities to do takeoffs and floor plans. Uh, this is all done through Cooks, which we're almost at the back now. But Cooks is actually located at the back of our yard. It's a completely separate business. Once we get up a bit closer, you'll be able to see the kind of stock holdings that they've got with cedar. We won't be able to see the LBL section. So we also extreme timber, which is finger jointed uh, laminated pine, which in our posts are H4. So H4 you're allowed to use in ground. And then our beams are H3 for above ground use only. As I mentioned before, you, with your finger joint and laminating, you get a much straighter product. And it also holds the stability a lot better. Um, probably something I didn't mention with design pine and also extreme timber is that timber, I know a lot of people like painting dark colors. Pine timber, when you paint a dark color, it actually plays a big effect on the durability of the timber because it dries out a lot. You then can cause uh, resin bleed checking. So when you are designing, if your client does want a darker timber or darker paint, probably contact either myself and we can run through that. But an LRV is the light refractive value and with design pine and easy trim, sorry, design pine and extreme timber, we want, you need to keep that LRV above 30. So 30% is the light reflective value that that paint offers. Uh, our design pine is primed with resin primer. Resin actually do do a light reflective paint that you can do in darker colors because they've added a reflectiveness into the paint, which can bring that number up. So right now we're in shed floor. Shed floor is where we hold our stock of Everlast decking, champion boards. Normally we do hold our Oxymag as well. Currently, we're actually sold out. Um, we've also currently got in here a humdinger. A humdinger is actually a machine <laughs> that builds complete cassette flooring, like with your LBLs, and then they throw the, the flooring on it to build basically your complete timber buildings, which I know that a lot of companies are starting now to push with because of the tim timber being, um, sorry, timber being uh, better for the environment and <laughs> you right? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, probably, I can run through, but with then just, you know, the, the commodity items like your fence palings, landscape like um, treated pine sleepers. We also stock a lot of that. 
Um, is, there, is there anyone got any questions? We can't, I can't see anything obviously on the screen. Nothing yet. Yes, I've actually got a couple of questions for you. So um, the first one is, do the FG posts come in any other timbers other than, is it Merbu? Oh, so ProLam is Merv out, yes, but yeah. we do, we, so we do do pine for in ground. So that's in the finger joint of laminated posts, which is, we do do extreme timber, which is pine. Okay. Um, that was actually just a, a question that came in from uh, Richard. He's actually based up in um, Queensland. So I don't know whether that has any relationship to the availability of the different products. Is it? No, no. So most of our products, it, it, is, it is actually quite weird with design pine and, and things like that. We do have separate cladding profiles. Some of the beam profiles are a bit different, but the base of the products, so extreme timber, they, we do all over Australia, um, design pine all over Australia. It's just some of the profiles change a little bit. A lot of our websites, when you go on there to look at the profiles, it actually, you actually have to choose your state before it bringing up the profiles so that you can, you know, that you're looking at the right thing. Okay, fantastic. Just while um, some of the other questions are just coming in, I just wanted to mention as well that I'm going to put a link into the chat feature there because Michael, who's actually the camera crew today, he's going to be doing a live unboxing tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. And that was actually with uh, EasyCraft. So this will be an opportunity for him to go into more detail about that product that Dane just showed you earlier on as well. So if you- Quite would... briefly, sorry about that. It's just, I didn't want to then, <laughs> then leave Michael with nothing to show. No, no, no problems at all. So, um, so just to clarify, so um, ITI is actually going to send out free samples to everyone who actually registers. And I know that he's not going to get in there in time for tomorrow, but uh, once you've actually received your sample, you can actually re-watch the presentation and then you could reach out to Dane or to Michael if you've actually got any further questions. But definitely tune in tomorrow, that's 5.30 and they'll be going through all the features and benefits of the easy craft as well. Sarah, that's the same for any of our products. If any of the members want samples of the decking, cladding profiles, not really beams or posts because you kind of, but those more um, designer based profiles, if they want samples, ITI will send them out samples free of charge, any information, any help that they may need just doing like takeoffs or anything like that. I'm not talking on like multi-story buildings and things. That's all right <laughs> for the EWP, but with, you know, when. When they, when they are, you know, they can give rough square metres where we've got no problem of helping with, you know, the cladding takeoff or, or a decking takeoff uh, fasteners for the, the decking. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we've got a couple of more questions that have just come in. This one's just a follow up from uh, Richard in Queensland and he just wants to know, are the extreme posts available to be stain finished? Um, as long as the client doesn't care about seeing finger joints and laminate because we don't do like a solid face. Sorry, I, I might've missed you, what your question was a little bit with the pro -land. We don't do a solid face in the extreme timber, but we actually have customers here. We changed our extreme to have it only laminated and no finger joints. And they said that a lot of the builders and their, their like clients like seeing the finger joints. Me personally, I don't, but some people actually do like the bit of an aesthetic feature that you do get from finger joints. So they can be stained, and all timber should have a protective coating. If it's a clear stain paint, once installed, it should be uh, applied, a, prote sorry, a protective coating should be applied to then give that timber obviously longevity. Okay, fantastic. And I just wanted to double check that ITI on their website, you've got a list of all your materials and all the applications. So 